Macca's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Maca here, Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes. This is the guide for all available cassettes in the game. There are 12 collectible ones. There's a few more, but those are just gotten through random things like uh, writing in the chopper. They're automatically unlocked. You don't have to worry about them. The list is in chronological order, and I recommend you check the YouTube description for any updates. Now, the first one available that I would recommend you going for is Chico's Tape Number 5. This is on the Ground Zeroes mission, and this must be done before rescuing Chico. If you rescue Chico from the prison camp, this one will disappear, so you want to keep that in mind. Now, I'm inside of the admin building or inside of the base, whatever way you want to put that. Obviously, you got to sneak in here somehow. If you want a guide for that, you can look on my channel for a walkthrough of this map. But once you're here, you've seen that I've knocked out a few guards now. And once I've knocked out the guards, we're going to make our way into this alleyway here. And on one of the dumpsters, you can find the cassette. Now, if you do rescue the one person, like I said, from the prison camp, you cannot get this. Uh, it'll disappear. Chico's tape number two from the same starting location as the previous one. We are inside of the admin base building and we're going to need to make our way up to the guard tower. Now there is actually one more cassette in the guard tower later on on a different mission. So you'll want to memorize exactly where you are and where you're going. By the time you finish this game once or twice, you will memorize this map to a T. Also, as noted in the quick introduction, you will have to complete this game on the hard difficulty you don't need a great rank but you need to complete it in order to get one of the cassettes anyways for Chico's tape number two on mission ground zeros as you can see that on screen in the top left corner obviously we're making our way up to this guard tower now once inside just go inside and pick up the tape I wasn't sure if there was a camera here so I'm just double checking there is no camera we're fine just walk in and you'll find the cassette on the desk and uh, make sure that you get to a checkpoint before quitting out if you decide to do that. Now moving on, the next one we're going for is called Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes. It's a music tape. It'll appear in a different tab in your uh, droid player. And um, this one has a song on it. Just one song. I forget the song's name. But we are in the prison camp area on the Ground Zeroes mission where we would rescue Chico. Now... Once you gain access, obviously I've put all the guards to sleep so we don't have to worry about any of that. Once we get inside, this is the person you're going to have to rescue to progress through the mission. I think you can skip him, but I recommend you uh, rescue him. Anyways, in the cell behind him, you're going to want to unlock it, get inside, and you will find this cassette tape on the ground. Now, from this exact cassette tape, we're going to go on to Chico's Tape 3. And for this one, all you have to do is rescue him and it'll drop out of the helicopter... You can also drop him when you're asked to put him down by the radio. And then Snake will inspect his body and find the tape on him. So there's two ways to get this one. It's very important that you don't get confused by doing one or the other. So I didn't put him down and the tape fell right out. If I was told to put him down and I inspected his body before I extracted him, I would have found it in a cutscene. Next, tape number four, you want to get the rescue achievement, which is for extracting the prisoner that's going to be executed in the Ground Zero's mission. Feel free to click the box on the screen or see a link in the YouTube description in order to see a longer and more fleshed out guide for this specific tape. Uh, if you get the rescue achievement, you will get this tape rewarded to you at the end of the mission. Tape number six, this one is in the mission eliminate the renegade threat now since all the maps are the same you can find this same armory on all of the missions however the tape will only appear on the eliminate the renegade threat mission so you want to keep that in mind now i'm showing you exactly where on the map i am and i'm kind of in between both of the targets in the bushes here and you saw that i took out the one guard in that tower to my right in the middle of my screen now and that's one of the targets that I just marked. Anyways, once you make sure there's no enemies and you take out all the proper guards that you need to to make sure you don't get spotted. Next to this guard tower in the middle of this area, you'll find this armory. If you walk up to it, it looks like a portable, um, I guess we call it portables, I don't know, uh, a temporary metal building uh, for storage. 
you're gonna, you're gonna walk in on the left hand side in the back corner you will find tape number six and that's it now for tape number one all you're gonna need to do is complete the intel operative rescue mission with any rank it is rewarded to you for completing the mission so just do that now next up we are on the mission classified intel acquisition there are a total of two cassette tapes you can get on this mission and you can get both of them on the same run through so I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Let the truck carry you all the way into the base. You're going to have to wait about two minutes to get to this part. Don't do anything. And once we're inside the base, get out back. Make sure there's no enemies that might spot you. And make your way up to the guard tower. This is the same guard tower from a previous cassette. However, the cassette is unique because we are on a different mission. Now, you can sprint. I'm just going to be safe and crouch walk all the way to the guard tower get up into the guard tower uh, there is a camera in this one so watch out for that use your assault rifle to shoot it and you won't have a problem so there we go it's down pick up the cassette tape and that's your first one for this mission now continuing on from this location what you're gonna want to do this is not necessary that's just me being an idiot you're gonna want to go back down to where you came from now I'll show you exactly what I mean uh, what you need to do for this next one, which is named Classified Intel Data, is you need to grab the bald guy in the boiler room of this area, near where the uh, pause uh, prisoner was rescued in Ground Zeroes. There'll be a bald guy walking around. You have to go up behind him and interrogate him and he'll drop the tape. So don't accidentally shoot the wrong guy. There's a bald guy in the boiler room. Do not shoot him or you won't get the tape. And if you do shoot him, you can reload a checkpoint. Uh, hopefully that all works out for you, or you can just restart the mission. Now, as you see me, I'm kind of sneaking behind here and doing whatever. It doesn't really matter how you get there, but I'm just showing you the proper route. Now, this guy right in front of me, I am going to interrogate him. He's not the right guy. It doesn't really matter uh, what I did here. I choked him out, interrogated him. He didn't give me any great information. He just told me where I could find some ammo. So I just left him there and I'll show you the bald guy that I was talking about. You're gonna wanna go down these stairs. Uh, this is going into the two boiler rooms and you'll see this one guard walking around. Now he walks around a little bit between both of the rooms so keep that in mind. You do not want to neutralize him using a tranquilizer or shooting him with a gun. That will obviously not let you do this. Walk up to him, hold the trigger which will let you uh, get all the options. Press the interrogate button and make him spit it out and once he does that he will drop the tape on the ground which is marked by an orange icon or a yellow square right there and at this point you can knock him out which is what I did you're gonna want to walk up right to the cassette tape hold that button to pick it up and that's the two for this mission next up on the destroy the anti-air emplacements mission you will need to rescue the one soldier that's located in the boiler room Click on the screen or see in the description for a guide for that mission. Next up, we are on Jamais Vu, which is the Xbox exclusive. This tape is the exact same location on the Deja Vu mission on the P PlayStation exclusive. So regardless of which one you have, the tape will be in the same spot from your spawn. You're going to want to run down to the beach to the extraction point that we've used probably a few times by now and you will find the cassette tape lying on a rock. Feel free to use your night vision in order to see the mines that might kill you, and it'll also help you spot the cassette tape a little bit easier. Now, for the last one here, what we're gonna need to do is complete all six of the missions on hard. You can click on the screen for a walkthrough. Just get any rank, and you will get the Zone of the Enders cassette tape. Now, I'm gonna show you what your cassette tapes will look like once you're done. On the first screen you see Chico 1 through 7 as well as agent recordings and the other classified missions. Here you have two. On the next screen you should have four. I did not complete the game on hard but it should say that right there. And then pause the diary. And that should be the achievement unlocked for you guys. This video took me a long time to put together so it would mean a lot to me if you guys were able to comment, like, even think about subscribing if you find some of my videos useful. Hopefully I see you in my next videos guys. Peace.